We have to call the police on because I don't want to get busted. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Right, so you think it's like 40 pounds? I would say it's it's about 30, maybe 40. Assuming they had like a grow room, you, they obviously were growing. It's like something. lights and I don't want to get in trouble. It was time to call you guys if it's okay. All right, we are back here. Can you cut that? Ooh, been off for a while, Uncle Michael. You have to get the leverage in there. You just gotta be stronger than the tool you're working with, Uncle Mike. You guys saw that here. Uncle Michael couldn't get it. I had to come in with the muscles. What do you guys say, Uncle Mike? Okay, there's a few boxes of trash here. I just see it now. That's This is all dirt. But here's the thing we, ha I, we have to call the police on because I don't want to get busted. I don't know if we're gonna, they're gonna, I don't want to risk it. Feel how heavy those are, that's like, so that's the best thing to do, don't you think? This is all weed? This is, no, this is dirt, dirt, and dirt, and then that's two totes of weed. So I think the best bet is the call. Hi, how you doing? I'm wondering if you can help me. I bought a storage unit and I don't know what office to call, but I'm in Sacramento and we found like 30, 40 pounds of in plastic totes and I don't want to transport it to the dumps and get in trouble or something. So I'm hoping somebody can come out and you, get it. Okay. You bought a storage unit where? What's it's, the address? I am at in Sacramento. Okay. And you found 20 pounds of yeah, it's like uh, somewhere between 20 and 40 pounds. It's like in two plastic totes and it's actually, okay. it's like part leaf, but part uh, flower. And okay. I know the laws are weird. I don't want to get in trouble. Right, right. Okay. And uh, what storage is it in? Um, What I think it's called store and go. And you just bought the storage facility? Well, no, I, I buy storage units for a living at auctions, uh, much like a TV oh. show. And I'm cleaning out my units and this was in there. So, okay. All right, uh, let me get you over to Sacramento Police. Your phone number is? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, hold on, John King. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Uh, Hi, yes. Uh, my ARP is You just bought a storage unit. You just found about 40 pounds. Hello? Hello? Hi, what storage unit? I'm at Store and Go in Sacramento on, it's... Go storage? I believe that's the exact name of it, yeah. Okay, and then what unit number are you, did you just... Um, it's e unit number E9. I didn't just buy it. I bought it a couple weeks ago, but we're here finishing up, and it's into plastic totes. They're large. It's half, like, leaf, but also half flower mixed in there, and I know laws are very, are weird, and I don't want to go and drive it around and get in trouble for something I'm just going to take to the dumps or something or whatever. Right, so you think it's, like, 40 pounds? I would say it's at least, it's about 30, maybe 40. It's it's a, just two large plastic totes compressed that's in there in a bag. Okay, so you said you bought it a couple weeks ago. Have you been, have you been in there since you bought it or is this the first time you're in? No, I, I, I've seen it, but I didn't come back till now. My trailer broke, so I wasn't to come back sooner and call the okay. police and deal with this, but I had to buy a new trailer to come back and finish my job here. Okay, Thank thanks, you. David. Bye. Great, okay, bye-bye. All right, we're... In my whole life, I've never been a cop caller. That's the first time. Have you ever been a cop caller, Uncle Michael? No, no. I'm gonna try to sell it when they get here. You're gonna try to sell it to them? Yeah. On camera? Yeah. Wanna open it? Hey, here we go. He can't open, now he can't open the door up. Oh my God. Oh. Holy smokes. We got, oh look, there's my shoot, my uh, my tables I've been looking for. Yeah. All right, so you know what they did? They didn't even touch this. I already know what Scott did. He took a presumptuous presumption and then just ran with this is all the same. So there's no telling if I got anything different, but whatever, it's not bad, right? No. $2,300 investment right there. Plus these, these are kind of cool. You can almost use these at the flea market because you put shirts on and stuff. And clothes, yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's get set up, I guess. So moving forward, the one thing that I have to hope is there's no telling what's in here, right? I'm thinking they presumed just shoes. I could tell they didn't go and equally do it. They just took a section. So what I'm hoping is that I actually have some costume jewelry somewhere in here, because that's what I really want. Polka dot blue, stongs, Coco style, Maggie. I'm hoping there's some costume jewelry lots here. 
Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Really nice size nine, size nine. I like that. Look at that pearl. They're made of wood. Very solid shoes. Don't not to be underestimated for my investment price. But I don't know what is in each. That one's sealed. Never open. We got oh, Uncle Michael, you need some of these? No. Come on, what about what about the wife? Look at that. No? Oh, do you feel how hard they are? They're solid as a rock. That's why it is solid. These are kind of cool. Look at these. These are polka dotty. Yeah. The structural integrity is kind of cool. I don't know. I'm thinking we're gonna save these for uh, another month or two in Christmas time, and then they're gifts. All right, we have 12 times five. Let's start to count. Five boxes. Look at that though. That is a jean. Made in Vietnam. I still like them, I don't care. It's not like we paid millions of dollars for them. We, I see that's why it says blue jean. polka dots i'm thinking these are gonna go hot in like oakland and san jose or at least in oakland one trip out you're gonna find somebody to jump on them right away and just take a cash offer and walk wow msr 49.99 usd can you believe that 59.99 all right that's a wrap here now i think we have Roughly 250 boxes times 12 making 3,000 pairs of shoes. I think there's definitely more than that though. Just by the way the cookie crumbles and some boxes have a lot more than 12. I'm predicting a minimum of 3,000. $2,300 investment plus expenses. We'll say we're going to make money. I, I feel a little confident. And that is a wrap. You just got to squeeze it with your just, ugh, you know? Yeah. I don't know what happened to the lock. Could be in my truck, but I don't know. I just want to get, it doesn't even matter at this point. Can you even bite it? Maybe. I can get it. Let it go. Just let it dingle. It was dangling. You guys see it here? It's the second time I've had to show them how to do this. See that? See that? Hardest worker man in America, Mr. Tough Guy there. That's the second one you guys have seen. You didn't click it all the way over. Oh, they can't even open the door, guys. You guys see it here. See it first. Storage auction pirate. Uncle Michael struggling. Maybe some type of silver. Just keep that whole little box, take the crap out. You can get the pennies later. Crazy part is you don't know what's hidden in here. We didn't go through every little nook on these. Like this, check that out. It's all good right here. Yeah, that's a good box. Okay, guys, right. you guys don't know me, okay? I know anything about this. Hey, how you guys doing? Um so yeah, I bought a storage unit and um, I know it's mainly shake, but there is butt in there and I don't want to get in trouble. Somebody told me that I can, if the person wanted to, they can say that it was an X amount. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to get in trouble taking it to the dump or whatever the case may be. So when did you? I purchased this unit. I bought six of them here at an auction about a month ago. But oh, for I, auction? Yeah, oh, so I buy storage okay. units. And so um, my trailer broke. I haven't been back here in weeks. I just bought a new one. So we're here cleaning up the, uh, all of our units. So basically, it was time to call you guys. And if it's okay to take the dumps, that's what I'll do. But I don't yeah, want so to get... Gonna... Yeah, so Something essentially, so. like, we have a team that deals with... Yeah. So that's pretty much... They, they might be interested in it. And so if that's the case, if any... Like, so we're kind of still trying, trying to talk to people to figure that out. Um, so as did you I look know, obviously it's the two back yeah. buckets um, yeah it's just two those two totes yeah and so then, did you open it when you first got it yeah I, I i run a youtube channel so i open up every box i film it you can even see how i filmed it it's not yeah. like the, uh, we went through it and it was so like a couple like three weeks ago okay. you found you, you finally you found this okay. So, okay as far as the safe did you guys open the safe or was it like yeah i opened it it's empty you can see on the video as well i bought these units seven weeks ago i didn't come back for three weeks to start them i filmed them then i left again my trailer broke and now i'm back again so they you have were, you were gonna take it to the dump but somebody told you that you yeah one of my answer. one of my friends said if somebody's having a bad day and they consider it like flour then they can charge me for like 40 pounds which i know
it's illegal in California, but there is a vague line for um, transporting, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, all right. So, so here's- Sorry, you purchased the unit weeks ago. Yeah. And you're finishing cleaning it out. And then- Yeah, he buys them on auction. Right. Have you guys ever seen Storage Wars? Yeah, it's yeah. very similar to that. Uh, it was this receipt right here, EO9. So that's the unit, and then you pay for them, and then you just move them out. So how long do are these guys? So if someone this if facility is weird because they went almost 10 years. No, most places it's 45, 90 days tops. They evict them. This place, I don't know why, but they went almost 10 years on some of them. So I have no idea. Is there anything else with this? What I pulled out of it that I kept, I went and sold, was a speaker, uh, gross stuff like there were some boards so i'm assuming they had like a grow room you could see the dirt you could see the wood rocks they obviously were growing it's like something. lights and they did they had four little ballasts for growing what are called clones i sold those at the flea market for 10 bucks each because they're illegal and everything but there was nothing nothing past that that was crematory uh, okay this guy in the corner told us to call you guys might want to buy it <laughs> Did, uh, I didn't know you're gonna show up. So you don't know how long that stuff's been in there. I, I don't. My presumption by the dust, because that's what I do. I'm gonna guess that's been there for they at don't least tell you five. When, like how long this has been? I usually ask if it's intriguing. I bought it just because I thought the safe would be a cool video. I do TikTok, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I bought it for that. The safe was empty. You know. So okay. You don't know how long this has been sitting here. I'm pretty sure this one was over five years. The dust over level was years. intense. Yeah. And like I said, they didn't have auctions for like 10 years. I don't That's know so why. Weird. It's okay. usually every 45, 90 days they evict the people. And this yeah. place is kind of odd. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's just going to get on the phone with the, the people that handle the, the stuff. And right. name you got his number. So we're working on another unit right over here right now. Okay. Yeah. So just a couple rows down. Yeah, something? we're at the very end to the left. Okay. The first name? David. Did you watch the game last night? I did, man. Crazy. All the way to the end. It was awesome. Yeah, it, was, just, it, was, it was on the other side. Crazy. Yeah, we're at the very end. Doing yeah, a dump run. I thought we we to no, because we got to take this as trash still, yeah. too. Yeah. So we're just it waiting. It was like right. a uh, defensive game until the try end. Try to stay honestly. within here. Let us know if you're going to leave anywhere. Oh, no. When we're done there, we're going to drive here and wait so I can haul this up. I have to take this before I leave. All right. Thank you. Right on, guys. So. It looks like Uncle Michael, after that little incident with the law, we can make like Cheech and Chong and go up and smoke because they ain't going to take this. We got to dispose of the dirt. And this is actually has value. Believe, me, believe you me, in the state of California, where this is a legal product, people actually do things like make medicine, butter, oils, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a market for this. I don't know if I'll throw it away now that they told me I could transport it. But that's how we do it around here. I don't like to call the cops. Oh my God, it's going to smell so bad. Oh, you know how it is when you buy a storage unit and you find 40 pounds of medical cannabis. Call the police, have them come out, and you wasted all everybody's time. But who cares what we do? Everything with me is legal first. If we do it legally, then we don't have to stress. Now I can drive home peacefully. This cop tries to bug me. I show my buddies on my video here and their approval, and we carry on about our day. That's how we do it.